Hi everyone, my name is Juan Lu. I am a ventriloquist here in the Philippines and I've been using the Shure Headworn microphone since the 1990s. Uh, the topic right now on this particular video is the WBH-54 or the Beta-54 Headworn mic. I've been using the Beta-54 Headworn mic since 2011 if I'm not mistaken this was this picture was taken at the ASEAN puppetry festival in Kuala Lumpur Malaysia and this is the WBH 54 T acid tan all right and uh, this picture was taken here in the Philippines and I'm still using the same microphone, the WBH-54 or Beta-54 Tan. Uh, this is uh, from the same event. And there you go, same event, say, same microphone. Uh, here on the, this picture, you can see the WBH-54B. Or the Beta 54 headworn mic in black. This was my second WBH 54 microphone, and I love the WBH 54 microphone because, uh, uh, well, it picks up my voice as a ventriloquist real well, and I don't really have to shout. And, uh, I love the WBH-54. Now, uh, as you can see in this photo, uh, this was uh, in Kual no, no, this was in Kuching, Malaysia, during the, um, let me try to remember, uh, the World Puppet Carnival in Kuching, Malaysia. I had to show you this picture again, uh, and again, as I was saying earlier, I love the Beta 54 microphone. All right, uh, the I, I've had three Beta 54 headworn mics already. The first two served me well; they served me for several years. But the last one I bought, which uh, I bought last uh, December 2019, unfortunately broke after just three months of. Uh, three months of use. Uh, I'm not sure what really happened, uh, but uh, what I notice, what I notice from the packaging of uh, the first two WBH54 that I've had is the color of the foam is different from the. Uh, the mic I recently bought. Aside from the phone padding, the canister, the canister is also much different from my recent purchase. I'd like to show you the foam and uh, the case of the recent uh, WBH-54 that I bought. Uh, it doesn't really show on this camera, but there's a big difference in the color of the foam. Now, it doesn't really matter. It's just the foam. What's interesting for me is the, uh, the canister. The canister. There you go. And I'd like to show you the canister of the first two mics that I had okay this is the original caster and this is from the one I recently bought all right uh, why am I showing you the these canisters uh, I was just wondering if this one is an original set you know there have been cases of uh, um, fake or counterfeit microphones from Shure, and I was just wondering if this is some kind of a clue, if it's uh, a counterfeit. I'm not really saying it is. I'm just saying 
Could it be a clue that the mic I recently bought is counterfeit or fake? Uh, I was wondering if anybody out there knows any details or any information about this. Uh, what I noticed from the last uh, Beta 54 microphone containing this canister is it didn't really sound well. It didn't really sound very well. It, like the, the, the first two Beta 54 microphones that I had. Okay? So I was thinking I might have bought uh, a fake or counterfeit mic. I'm not really sure. And I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying the possibility. All right. I'd like to show you as well. Uh, this is the packaging for the uh, the one, uh, my, my recent uh, WBH54 mic. There you go. And I bought it from a dealer, a sure dealer from Canada. All right. There we go. If you notice the canister. So I'm not really saying it's 100. I, I'm not really saying it's fake. I'm not even sure. I'm just saying there might be someone out there who knows anything about this. For all we know, this is the new canister. This is the new canister that sure uses and I don't really mind. All right. I'm just saying that because my mic broke and just after three months, there's a good possibility that I bought a fake mic, although I confess I am not really sure. And I was wondering if this canister would uh, serve as a clue. All right, uh, that's about it. If you have anything, if you have any clues, if you have any recent... Uh, uh, experiences with the, the with the WBH54 headworn mic. Please do share it and comment below. All right, appreciate it very much. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. I did inform uh, Sure about this, and all they told me was they cannot say for sure uh, through pictures, through just pictures. So they said their team will get in touch with me or I should get in touch with the team who handles these issues. These issues of uh, fake microphones. But anyway, I figured uh, someone out there might have a similar experience. So let's uh, comment below and do share your experiences. All right. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. And bye.